Oh, I'm ready for this. I'm excited to get my mouth on the mic. And already we've seen a bullet into the head of Poison. That's going to hurt. USP upgrade found. Aggression through middle. Config and Blame fancy the flank. And Rush has got an awful lot to do. But I see utility here as well, Lauren. They want to try and already mask the push-up for this plant. I don't know if there's anyone that can contest here. No, I think this is going to be a postured retake. But you do have that nice flank coming in. You highlighted it. And it's slowly creeping up the ramp. Dupree's going to spot it, get a fair bit of information. Does send a shot back, but he's dealt a fair bit of damage by now. Oh. Already, plan now comes in. Config needs a clean shot on this, then maybe opens up an avenue. Device is there, a little bit of a fade away. And Osafix gets mages, but by this point, you're down to two. Blame F. And now what just NATO? one. He's uh, not really got much of a chance with this player behind him. Glaive tucked in, giving me vertigo on vertigo, looking down into the streets of what fictional city is this? Do you want to make up a name? I feel like Rush would know it. Gotham. Gotham, yes. The, the streets of Gotham. And Rush is our Batman. I mean, he's, he? he strikes me as more of the Michael Robin. Caine character. Oh. Okay. You know, he sits at yeah, the house. Right. He wears his checkered shirts and he goes, all right, master, I got you a new gadget. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Was, was, I've never tried Michael Caine before. Quite, it, was, it wasn't... It wasn't what? It wasn't it terrible. Wasn't, it was actually decent. Awful. Oh, yeah. I'm glad that's over. Hello, Alex. Yeah, hey, what's Alex, going on? Good to see you, man. Hi, it's man, been a I missed while. You. Are you going to play CS with us tonight? Yeah, I can do. I'm yeah, down. Definitely. I'm well up for it. I'm okay, Counter Strike. It's happening right now. And Poison's got a gap. He's got a shot. He's S attack gone. And that should be enough to suppress. Device seems to relieve some pressure very early. And AK spotted. This is second round. Two AKs and a Galil Lauren. This, this buy slaps. It does. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm getting used to the economy still, but. I want to see if Astralis are used to any of this oh. pressure. Nice shot from Device, but bear in mind the damage is being dealt. So the scout did stay a little relevant, but it has been taken out. So for now, they've stabilized. Good utility usage, keeping that site you know, a little bit safer than before. So Laser Sapphic's trying to get a little bit closer, planting off towards the side here. No threats to be found. I feel as though Rush and NATO both know that this one's not really giving much up. Yeah, pick up your toys, take them home and come back and play tomorrow because the sun's gone down. Germans call toys play stuff. It's like the fire stuff. What was yeah. uh, the word for that, Rush? What's that? Play what? stuff? Play stuff im Deutsch. Um, you know it. At least the f you know what play is. Spieler? Though. Yes. Um, and stuff? Oh, I don't know that one. Spieler, Spieler, Spieler Zeug? Spielzeug. Spielzeug. Ah, oh, so, no. Danke I learned one the other day, Alex. Go on. Um, it's like when they ask how you're going, you say uh, scherzo. 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 And yeah, do you know oh, that? Like it goes, it goes. Well, it's it's yeah, it's like uh, you know, and then and then you always get the sympathetic. Oh, what's wrong? Ah, so okay. that's always a good one to use. Nice. I did you realize you can't really say how are you to a German too well because no. they'll tell you. Oh, honestly, I'm quite yeah, yeah. quite terrible. Well, to be Maybe honest, you know, the tax okay. is coming in. I've got to yeah. consider that and the bureaucracy. I'm kind of drowning in it. But other, other than that. <laughs> If they give you a real reply. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I'm all right. How are you? You know what I mean? In England, standard. we're literally bad, like in pieces. We're like, yeah, it's good, man. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, well. Pieces. Uh, horrible. One of the notes yeah. from yesterday that we were uh, witnessing with Astralis in their victory over Spirit oh, was Device doing very well on the rifles. Uh, he wasn't having so much with the AWP impact, but he was finding a lot of entries wow. and uh, cracking open bomb sites with that AK-47, especially on Inferno. Chad, the magical caster HUD thing's not working. Did they change the, the Ghibli Bibli? Uh, it should be working. Hey. I want it right now. Lauren, could you just type in the, the one that's in your thingy, on my thingy? Thanks. I, I can see the thingy. I'll send you a picture of the thingy. That works too. Okay, so Dupree's got his AK-47 and he's starting an adventure towards B. You can see that this is all smoke and mirrors though, and the CTs have cracked the case. Seems like Device, Glaive, and Death Attack starting to throw out those smokes. And with only Deagles, this one will fall flat, unless, of course, more scout shots like that start to hit. Nade damage. NATO's gone. Ray suppressing shots from Magix do connect through with the obscurity of the smoke. Config fancying his chances with the Desert Eagle. Seven fresh bullets and already getting the hell out of Dodge. Recovered Famas, but Dupree is closing in on the flank. This one likely to end in disaster for complexity as the theme tune starts. <laughs> oh, and he punches the shark in the nose. <laughs> nice work from Config. Um, finding that and at least creating a safe way to evacuate the site, which is probably what the plan will be. Config has got himself the AK as well, so a nice little addition for him, whereas uh, Poison seems a little stuck on the scout. Yeah, it's decent to be holding onto these three guns. We'll be able to use all of them going into round number four, being the first real gun round for complexity here. You can see Cash is plentiful for NATO and Rush, who are the two dead 
complexity players right now within round number three, but they will be able to purchase. The question is, does Poison want to upgrade from that scout? This is Poison we're talking about, yeah. Chad. He, he, he is a Chad in the server. He's keeping that all the rounds he can. I like it as well. I like this, the nimble counter-strike counter -strike from the, uh, the scout. Chad, you're a bit of a scout professional. Once upon a time, I was very, very uh, proficient. Did he go Aggie? Right Did he there. go Aggie on the ramp with that scout? Looks like it. Ollie off. Whoa, those flashes are very suppressing. Blame wants to contest. Okay, device entering up Scaffy. Might just jump into this smoke and go for one of the classic nutmegs. Looks like that's exactly what he's going for. Is just trying to take this territory quite quickly. Not waiting out the utility. More than happy to duel. Device has gone down. <laughs> Yeah, Device was a little bit further ahead. S-Tag couldn't quite navigate to the top end of ramp yet, but now he's going to slowly build up towards this. Now, Convict looks like he's actually on the ball today. Maybe feeling a little frustrated after that Na'Vi performance and just putting in the hours um, already comfortable enough. It is a 4v3. Glaive, though, down to 2 HP does slightly hinder and hamper any of those potential upsets, but may just be a little bit further ahead. Now, Blame F is on an island, but it is quite a deadly one at that, maybe a bit tropical. But it looks like Magus is aware Someone's going to be around there. Tries to clear, but in the smoke he goes on the other side, waiting for everyone else to appear. Mages. Lame's playing the safe. He's around the pillar here, so oh, I don't know if the shadow nice. gave it away or simply just the angle. Well there played to Blame F to keep control on this. So now he's into a 1v2. Blame is now dead. Dupree's positioning cut right between them. I was a little worried for Glaive considering 2 HP is, is very fine margins. But for now, 4-0, to zero, it hasn't been too scary. Too scary. Yeah, I, I think Astralis today are really going to come in and pull up their socks, right? Yesterday was a shaky day. They admitted it within the post-game interviews. Yep. Things weren't clicking and feeling as well as they should. The day before, there were tweets coming out from the Astralis camp when they lost to Heroic, saying Magus was the only one who showed up to play that day. I mean, Dupree gave us the classic, we were not happy with the shots we are hitting. Yeah. Thank you for that one, Dupree. Well, uh, he's, got the, uh, he's got the PR training, that's for sure. <laughs> now, Dunk will come out back again. Lighter buy, not a full investment. Blame with an M4, Config with one, CZ75 for Rush, NATO down to the Deagle, Scout with no armor behind it for Poison and Dupree. Well, he might be happy with those kind of shots that he's hitting. That's one of those upgraded M4s taken out of the... Very, very early. So yeah, this boost tax, I don't think we'll see it with any of the uh, any of the European teams. Maybe haven't had a chance to practice it, but maybe when we have one of those eco rounds, we can get MC to show a camera angle of, of what we'll be talking about is very exciting. Dupree continuing forward. Three on five situation now. Magus a little bit low, but I wouldn't have too much to worry about as Device will mop up Rush, and this should be the round. Does seem like Astralis have come to play today. Poison, what can you do? A refrag, there it is. Repeeks into Dupree. So now there's an AK low, but again, Astralis so consistently taking this B space just to stop that save. The flank is quick through CT. And in fact, he's taken all that space. They just take for the safe route. They'll go back through. Looking to get that bomb down. Yeah, and I think I got a little treated by seeing Heroic being so proactive, both on T but mostly CT that stands out to me. Every single fight they take is so well choreographed and considered, and the map control is never uh, an assumption for the T side. You can never just yeah. feel as though, well, we can we can do a heavy lean this way. Maybe we've got 10, 20 seconds. No, no, no. They will find any element they can. So remember, this is a punish pick from Complexity here. And the standing factor, we will be discussing that. Mm -hmm. But coming into today, it, we're looking at Astralis tidying things up as Glaive will mop up the mess in middle. And that's just going to leave Blame F holding onto this M4 if he can. It, so it's about Astralis tidying things up and looking more proficient for this lower bracket run because complexity is another one of those hurdles. Yes. But if Big beat Mouse Sports later today, which should be likely considering the B Mass situation, if Big... Uh, I don't know, man. Well, the, listen to my, listen to oh, my give dream me the logic. Give me the logic. Second, yeah, yeah. Right? Because if we get Big, who have been like an interim title belt holder for world number sure. one fair, throughout fair, this, fair. you know, online era, then you have Astralis going up against them with this new seven-man mm. roster, Esetag playing within them within the Pro League. Can they take down that team? Okay, well, if they can, great. Now we go on to a familiar face. You've got Simple, the best player in the world, going up against the best team to ever touch the game. That's assuming that Na'Vi lose to Heroic. I'm, I'm getting a few steps ahead of myself here um, but then you get that as like the lower bracket final and if whoever wins that we either get the rematch of Navi versus Heroic which will be the third time they go toe to toe within the pro league they'll be split 1-1 one, one. I or, like what you're trying to sell me Chad I really want this I like the idea to, oh, it's juicy I'm picking up what you're putting down but right now it's going to be Esetag pushing up into the clutches and spray of Blame F he is in trouble he is in jeopardy he's opting for the USP to retreat as swiftly as possible and in the meantime in the interim we've lost Rush 
Especially what? down middle was Glaive. Doesn't look like they're ready to commit with the bomb just yet. Contested actively by Config and Poison. And he's going for a deep smoke. I wonder what the intention is of that. You can see it does a bit of a... Oh, wow. Woo, deep uh, bounce. And Poison's already taken down. Device, that's bomb spotted. Glaive has to brave the gray screen and into the nade. Oh, that's colossal. This should be their first round on the board, unless Dupree and Magisk have got any tricks up their sleeve. NATO's getting inquisitive, but he does find Dupree. So this one starting to look like complexities first. Damage is the name of the game here for Magus. Him being on low HP isn't going to make this an easy task whatsoever. But off on the other side, if he missed, there was always going to be a chance to punish. But Poison too good. And a big round right there. So I, I thought Config had like flubbed that nade. I thought he was maybe just trying to throw it back to the forklift box down the left-hand side to cotton off one of the choke points. But all the way down, covering off the bridge position. Lovely little smoke right there. Isolating... That of Astralis and Very nice. Yeah, mopping that one up. So round seven about to go underway here. Guns are out for both teams. Poison has his AWP device onto the big green on the other side of things. AKs for the remainder of Astralis and back towards B we go. In the early stages, Dupree and Magus dealing with the protocol nades of Nader Suffix and he is the stand-in right now for complexity. So if they want to bullish and punish, I just want to build the, uh, the reminder of surrounding Nato Suffix as well. This man has been trying so actively for a multitude of different years and teams in, t in pursuit of tier one Counter-Strike. To be given this opportunity, I'm sure, especially even in this map alone, he's got the responsibility of holding B against Astralis. He is loving this. This is a Christmas morning for NATO. The fact he gets to play, the fact he gets to show what he's been working on over the last few years, this is everything he's been waiting for. And so a chance to demonstrate nice his flash. ability. The flash looks good. At the moment, like trying to hold them at bay, the utility again is, has locked them at the door. They're lining up for some smokes, though, and I do fancy a quick tutorial, so hang on. Let's see what Magisk is going to throw. Oh, they're doing the boost. Well, that's, that's not bad. With the smoke blooming, this could be... Ooh, uh... sound cue. Get out and out of there. Yeah, don't risk that one. As soon as you make that, that footstep, they will spam through those boards. A lot of damage could be done. Now we have 50 seconds left. Config, you're going to be in trouble, He's my pushy. friend. He's going to push up nice and close. Gives them time to hit rotations if they need to, and hopefully be a bit more than a one and nice. done. But Rush finding success towards Magisk is actually pretty impressive. Now that's going to kind of funnel everyone back together. They're all piling in towards this. And you're right, where can they go? They struggle to get this side of the map against Heroic, and it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble again. But du Dupree's feeling a bit braver this time. He's going for a little bit of a wonder. But Rush is being patient. He's being yeah. cautious. He's waiting for NATO Suffix to come back around. And suddenly they've reassembled this crossfire. The flash does nothing, but the guns might do oh, no. just a little more. Maybe not. Dupree, quick on the trigger, takes the side, but Poison's arrived. Yeah, he's another. And it's a hard shot to hit. Dupree's taken him off. And now suddenly Astralis have got room to move, room to breathe. And suddenly it's Blame F that's feeling the pressure. Config's hidden by... Hitten? That's being hit in the past tense. Hitten. Ah, it's hitten. hitten. Yes, thank you. By the AWP. And regardless, you do see that triple kill from Dupree. You can see the the idea. NATO takes contact. He pulls into the gen. It's Rush's chance to swing. But with 30 HP, a quick reaction from the Astralis players. And they've just turned that on its head. That looked great for complexity. It was a 3v5. 30 seconds left, Chad. What went wrong? Yeah, they were constricting Astralis right there. That info play from Rush on Omegas was huge. And then the fact that Config, we could see how pushed down he was. The only avenue felt like it was going to be through middle and hoping for a very late round split. But Dupree has to be the hero. Two entries onto that bomb site. Shots not landing for complexity. And this is what we want to paint on about this B bomb site. Nato is the stand-in. It is the, you know, it's not that he's, uh, he's a serviceable individual, right? Oh. We're not going to detract anything from that. But in terms of being a little mechanical wizard like Oboe, he's uh, not that same kind of player. Now, we've got Estatag and Dupree. They're in the office together. Apparently, they were uh, shouting yesterday. When Estatag was trying to do his interview, Dupree's in yelling. And then oh, yesterday, laughter. when... The Dupree laugh was very loud. <laughs> Having a good time. But this is good. This is exactly what we wanted to see from Astralis coming in today because this puts them into that next gear. And we're going to, you know, once again, complexity with the stand-in, it becomes very hopeless, right? Not because I don't think that they have good players on the team, not that I don't think that they can win against some of these names, just that when you now contrast Astralis, one of the greats, up against Complexity, a team who are on the rise, who are doing fantastically, they've had uh, a bit of a kick in the nuts with the whole Oboe situation, having only a week to retool after all the hard work that we know they do, there is going to be some speed bumps. And, and Astralis gaps, yeah. is a pretty bloody big speed bump. They're those huge ones. Just scrape the bottom of your car on. S attack has woken up and walked into the site of Confi. Nice. Even just a second as well. Poison caught sleeping oh. in S attack with an adjustment so quick, so robotic. The round one. S attack, three kills. 
very short space of time and poor old Complexity left scratching their heads, saving their weapons. He just said to Dupree after that round before, he said, hey, mate, anything you can do, I can do better. Just run on in. Who's watching his screen like. just like, oh, that, oh, oh that's, so that's how, how you do, do it. it. Ah. No, I'll, do, I'll do it over my ramp. I see Esetag's also one of those hipsters. You know, he walks around Copenhagen in his all black outfits. He's got no skins in Counter-Strike, but he plays for Astralis. So the, okay, so the skins thing? What? A little bit of a boo-boo. Oh, no, what? His account gets... Uh, Oh, I saw something about yeah. that on Reddit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's not actually as cool no, as I thought just, he was. Yeah. He's got nice hair, though. He's got very cool hair. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, I'm sure he, he, he's got a, a cool linen jacket or two. Of course he does. Yeah. He's, he probably has that trade ban as well. I was, I suppose Ooh, he's had to change yeah, his like, password. And stuff. I, I like my, yeah. my storyline better than yours. Yours is cool. So um, he's actually just a bit of a hipster. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> I really like Elysia's AK because he's just got the scratched out exactly. names on the side and it's it, and that's very uh, default. I'm just saying, I don't think Esetag gets three if he had like an Aquamarine Revenge. There. You're probably right. That's yeah, no, I, that's course. all I'm saying. Of course. That's my analysis provided. It's big. Thanks for the fan cams as well. I missed you guys. Haven't been able to see your beautiful faces oh, in about a week. Did you see Max? Uh, he had a, a bit of a, I guess, a school for cheering in the fan cams he was doing for everybody. Did you teach him? Yeah, we might We might show you some oh, of the wind moves up. a little bit There's a lot going on. The Very AFL, Australian. The AFL goal sign, which is uh, this Ooh. one here, Alex, just so you know. Hazard! There's, 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 a, goal. A, goal. there's a goal. There's a goal. Okay. That's uh, through the middle sticks. That's for six. And through the little ones, it's just one. Oh, just That's one. a oh, groovy there's... little smoke. I like that one. Seen that bouncing off the top of that box. Regardless, it's mid and A at the moment. Glaive has been getting this mid control. Now, it hasn't been clean. He's often been taken down to like five HP, but he has been winning it out, which has cost a great deal of time and confidence in rotations and leaving these two obviously feeling like they're on an island. Russian NATO Safix have to pay some sort of attention to this. Flash in, doesn't reach Glaive particularly, but does draw a Molotov out. That does though. Config waiting on the other side, nice. even feels good enough to go for the double, kind of out and about in the middle of it all. But now the three remainders for Astralis have very little information as to where to play beyond this. I don't think they can afford to lose another one of these three V5s on B. Flash is good, and that's the frag they needed. They spot Device. Secret is out, and so is Device. He'll get a hell out of dodge. S attack and Device one, or rather two versus five. And Poison's opting for the off angle. Should have the element of surprise if they were to go ramp side. So they'll uh, retool. 30 seconds. It may just be one of those unfortunate situations of just hanging around. Just it's chilling spawn. out. Yeah. Rush. Hello. You sound like there's happiness in your voice now that Alex returned. You yeah, went in the greatest of moods a couple of days ago, and is that because of Lauren and I? Did you I feel that you were getting bullied? No, too much? no, no, definitely Sorry, not. You were saying Rush was being bullied? Oh, but are you kidding go. me? Here we go. You weren't being are bullied. Are you kidding me? We did a public vote to you see were who was horrible to me. To see who was going to Both sit. of you ganging up on me. All I wanted was Alex to come back, so there's at least you know someone of common decency around me. Oh. He's back now. I'm, Why are you laughing, I'm, Rush? Yeah, that was um, a bit of a snicker. Did you hear that? That was a snicker. If uh, I, was to I don't know. It. I, um, Scoff. Scoff. I'm happy to have Alex back. You know, we, we missed you a lot. Of Rush, him. you know how we were doing that word thing? Sure. Um, I took a screenshot because I saw a little newspaper clipping. I don't know if you know what they Newspaper? What, that is. Yeah, what is that? Im Deutsch, das ist ein Zeitung, Zeitung, ah, something genau, like that. Genau, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I, I took a screenshot. I'm going to my screenshots folder to show you. It All was. Right. Um, it was words, old English words that people, that the, the, the what's the one that comes after millennials? Uh, Zoomers. Zoomers, the Zoomers, yeah. The Zoomers don't know anymore. Mm. Uh, I'll find it. It seems to be a little harder to uh, okay. obtain. Is, is respect on that list? <laughs> Yikes. Oh. Me. Wow, Chad. Hey! Wow. Isolate wow. all of the fan base. That was a joke, guys. Wow. I don't know what the kids wow. do. And yolk? Okay, I've got them. Confusing okay. words from yonks ago. Yonks, oh, there you go. Yonks. Okay. Yonks. For, for this round, Lauren, we're going to use Tosh. Old, to old nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Still showing my age here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. God, I actually feel ancient. But blame F. Young and up for the fight. Heading right down towards Ram. Going to take that territory and keep it in his pocket. Now, while all this happens, Astralis have turned their attention elsewhere. Not really bothered by any of that tosh that's being sold over there by blame F towards Ram. There we go. I love that. And from henceforth, I shall use that word. Into the side though, a perfect flash, but they don't get him. Device has got the blind, but NATO's got the frag. Glaive finally claws one back. He wants more. Does have a smoke to deploy, oh. and he catches poison on the jiggle. Just like that, the round switches again. They flip the coin. Oh, and that's a bit of a sketchy one from NATO. He's in jeopardy now. And he needs to try and get out of dodge. They're not rushing this plant. And that was the chance. It's now squandered. NATO 
in a real spot of bother and he's gone. Bloody hell, Glaive. Strauss are looking sharper today than what we've seen in the last two. So this is one of the key notes that I'm taking from this. And the approach doesn't even feel like it's uh, anything too difficult. It's mm. a little bit more direct. Uh, yesterday, we were questioning some of their plays on Inferno. It felt like they were being a Double, little bit too triple tricky. triple guessing. Yeah, yeah. And, and here they're going in. Brute force. Guns in faces. Headshots around. Stick them up. Type play is... That's going to be round number eight on the board. If Astralis get two more rounds, this is the most rounds on Vertigo they have gotten with s -Attack. They've only played this map twice, both uh, single-digit losses. Once to Vitality, Ooh, once to Heroic. Here we go. Feeling it. Wow, yeah, so ready. Feel that bullet too. Yeah, they are very much ready for this. It feels as though maybe they have come into this truly prepared. Now, he did see s -Attack have great deals of success towards this side after Dupree's moment trying to enter things up. He had to go himself. Now, trying to play the timing through the smoke, doesn't get it. Blame F's there. After the deals of utility put down towards ramp, he had a nice isolated fight. Takes a touch of damage. Don't even know where that came from. Even for Molly was there. Wait, he's gone for more. He's a madman. He burns alive for it. But Rush now. Put to task, he is in danger, falls away. That headshot fight on the sandbags player could very well have been the determining factor of this round. Very important frag found from Rush and a hard one to do so as well. Bomb swapped over. Looks like Magisk will be the spearhead of this assault. Intrigued to know as to their plans. It does seem like they're actually opting for the split method. Magus has a smoke. They're pre rocking a Molotov and a HE here, but as they're split up, they are just searching for jewels, seeing if they can find a straggler, find a one on one. Right now, with the bomb heading over towards the B side of things, I would say we have a mid-split coming on through. Now, if Dupree takes first contact and doesn't die, just keeps the attention of NATO over towards this B side of things, the door is open for Magus to come on over the top. This is all going to come down to timing here on NATO's jiggles. Dupree playing in the smoke, hiding in plain sight. 25 seconds. Well. Yeah, that's, the, that's possibly <laughs> the round. Look where Magus well. is. Yeah, the rotation's... Oh, spotted as he may be, puts up the smoke, backs away, takes a lick of damage off the molly, but this retake is really going to be very difficult. As much as they are looking like they're posturing, like they fancy it, uh, it's, it's, it's horrible. They have no flashes, no utility, nothing to play with. It's just the guns at their side, and attack's good, but they need it a clean kill. Dupree's having none of it. That little bit of entry work on the site was more than enough. Yeah, that one's going to be a bitter pill to swallow again. Felt like Blame had done a good start here, getting the first blood drawn. He even catches Glaive on the swing. So it, at this point in time, that's a four versus three. Rush finding this frag, it really should have sealed the deal. Sends them packing, but Astralis again into B. And the fist bumps are exchanged over in Denmark. They've got a nice collection of monitors there. I could use a, spe a second one. Uh, just ask Eric. I'm sure he can get you one. Can he? I, uh, want, I, I just want to... I feel like I can't multitask as well. You know? I moved the TV next to my PC. Yeah, I'm not as... Um, as handy as you are, Chad. Sorry, what are you accusing me of? Being a handy. Oh, okay. Man. Sorry, I just, wanna, <laughs> just wanted to clarify. Be certain. Now then, blame. Only a desert eagle. Bottle of flame thrown his way. Config stands his ground. The spray's not going to find anything. A fresh mag required, but still, no one's gone down. Still plenty of time, but a lot of aggression towards this ramp, and Config wants another look. That's ballsy. Just the warning shot. I on five still. Cole really needs to stabilize the bleed here. It is only Deagle's, a partial buy. There should not be any sort of justifiable way they manuf manufacture a third here, but a 9-6 half really is compulsory if they want to stay competitive. Here we are. Bloody hell, Glaze. Oh, rush. Yeah, real nice. It looks so easy. It is very clean, isn't it? it? It doesn't feel like complexity are putting up too much of a fight whatsoever. Astralis are ready for every single duel. It almost seems when we're on a player who's going for an entry, we had the S attack, three man up the A round. We had Dupree late round going into the B bomb site. This Glaive. is obviously much later down the track here, but Glaive is just walking on in. It is against pistols, but there's no fight really being put, in, put up from complexity here. He's done it against gun rounds too. All yeah. of them have. That's that's the scary part. You know, they're, they're absolute cads just getting away with it. Um, for now, Five alive, no threats to be found. Tag or two, but no one being pressured. Still even maintaining some utility on top. No one's particularly underperforming either for Astralis. There's no one being super quiet. You know, S-Tag, five kills, okay. But then bear in mind, three of those were those mad yeah. entries on the site. So they're Gun super valuable. Well. You'll take yeah. that. 
And yeah, I, I don't know what the answer is for complexity. They look just a little bamboozled. Well, here's the thing, right? If we look at it, it was a five round streak to kick off the game. Then they bounced back on round six with their first. Then it was two on the trot with the bomb going down. So money continuing to trickle on up for Astralis. Then another round on round nine for complexity. And then three on the trot once again. So Astralis are really running away with this one. If the rounds on the CT side are so few and far between and Confi continues to go down over towards this ramp like this, Astralis are looking to run away with this one. Uh, I'm telling you right now, Config just watched like 10 Amanek demos and he's just desperately trying to replicate this smoky goodness that's been pulled out by the Frenchman in the past. Rush has got something in store for us. A lovely little pop flash lineup. There you go. Back against the boxes on the shadow meeting the light. And then uh, is it a jump throw? It looks like it must be. Blame's going to be flashed in now. Good flash. Triple kill, that's a way to find at least an advantage. It may not be the round though, still 60 seconds on that clock. Where's the smokes? Okay, so there's one on device. They won't have the oh. luxury of both old oh, poison. poison. Solid catch, oof. <laughs> they don't have to go away, there's 50 seconds left. And if they take down Rush, oh dear, they know he's positioned now. Does Dupree want this? He's gonna walk straight through, is he? No, he's not as ras much of a rascal as I initially assumed. But he's got 40 seconds. If he just cuts noise, one of them's going to have to rotate, but he's... Oh, that smoke, come on. Yeah, he sees him. Oh, and he misses the shot. Nato getting sketchy now. And Dupree has found Rush. It all falls to Nato. The stand-in has to step up. Oh, he was perfect as well. He's reading that crossfire perfectly, but this readjustment from Nato could still have some validity to it. That's enough for Nato to know it's a fake. Now he can start the push, surely. Yeah, closing the gap. Jiggle from Dupree. This is tough for the Dane. Both hailing from Denmark, in fact. Nato Safix is waiting, and Dupree knocks his head off his shoulders. A triple kill clutch after some serious hard work. Again, it looked like Complexity had done enough to start us off. Yeah. Look at this triple kill. This isn't the first time we've said Blamehef has given them the advantage to convert, but again, Dupree just locks it down. Yeah, and look, we have to obviously say this is fantastic work from Dupree to win a one-on-two situation like this, but you also, on the other side of things, have to say complexity are dropping rounds where they have number advantages time and time again, and yep. you can't be doing that. You have to be converting a few of those. That's why they're sitting down two rounds to 11 of Astralis on their map choice, which was meant to be a punish. Now, I don't know if Dupree's going in to meme them here and just do a little bit of uh, disrespect. Mm. In, the, in the most fun way, like we saw Cadian trying to knife Device the other day on New Clorin. You remember that one right there? But yeah. um, I haven't seen the Kraken in years. Rolls okay, back there to we what, go. Like He's getting the AK Cobblestone, yeah. down drop. Up and down drop. JWs, just, oh. Yeah. Okay, so it, it, was, it was merely a meme. Yeah, Dupree isn't looking for any of uh, that type of kerfuffle. He wants to get stuck on in the big guns. Smoke on over, flashes to follow on through. Back towards A, they trundle. Oh, look at this. Every single time there's an opening coming on through. Esetag <laughs> getting players jumping at him. It looked comical, didn't it? It looked like Config was just trying to die. It's like salmons just swimming up the stream Take into the me. bear's yeah. you know, claws. Just... Oh, by the way, you just reminded me of Brother Bear. Watched it the other day. Didn't you say it was like really hitting you hard? I swear I was I was, um, I was was crying. Weeping. I don't I think... Like, not even just like little tears, like big, like... You cool. just took me by surprise. I thought I was watching like a, a leisurely, you know, Disney adventure. Yeah. And it's just like dead relatives responsible for relatives. Death, oh, God, guilt, don't. Overwhelming don't. lessons learned. It Look, was... I, I only cry to Grey's Anatomy. I can't, I oh, can't add another yeah. to that list. That was Config leaping, leaping to Nemo? his demise. Uh, Nemo's okay, but Brother Bear, if you want like an, an emotional purge, you know, I don't know if anyone's like me, but like I can't cry when like actual bad things are happening to me. Okay. But when he watched... Grey's Anatomy is where exactly. I release all so my... So that's my therapy yeah. is I just watched an anim animated bear uh, and it, it, I, I wept with a mouthful nice. of, of peanut butter and jelly. Oh, oh that sounds Thanks. wonderful. I so did the idea of that, but it didn't really work out very well, sadly. Double orbs. I like a good dorp. Yeah, and this is one of the things. Normally, Config does the secondary orping for complexity, but Nato Suffix, he is someone who we've seen pick up the big green before. So this adds another string to the bow of complexity. However, that bow, not oh. very strong as Dupree just absolutely dismantles two players over towards the B-side off Esetag's flash. I that was a, a balsa wood bow. That one did not <laughs> hold. Oh, dear. But perhaps from bow to bow, some respect could be gained if Complexity finds... Oh, God, he's just been caught out again. Dupree's on for the ace here. He's just behind enemy lines. He's under their skin like the scarabs from Scorpion King. 
You've been on the movie dives, haven't you? <laughs> Do you remember that one, though, where yeah, the scarabs are all under their skin? I yeah. freaked out. Freaked me out for a long year old time. me, very much. Yeah, the mummy freaked out. Multitudes of here things. we go. Hold on, hold Watch on. This. Poison's this. kind of in a bit of a fool oh. here. You can see it happening, and now the 1v1 device is... Oh! <laughs> he doesn't have his life! I knew oh. it! Poison is a gangster. He holds his orb sideways, swings open the door, and opens up a third. They needed that. Thank you, Poison. Bit of adrenaline injected into our veins right at halftime. second half it may be a quick one unfortunately vertigo is supposed to be the punished pick for sponge setting that scene has seen it completely and totally ripped up in front of them device is getting ready for christmas and we are getting ready for our second half chad hi yeah uh look ladies and gentlemen boys and girls counter-strike fans all around the world complexity with those odds at the top of your screen that's very fitting for how this one is probably going to trickle on down now in the pre-game you would have said seen me uh, setting up s tag over towards this a side defense He's back over there solo on the pistol around here, which is indicative of a retake setup. They have two nades, one for Glaive, one for Estatag, a smoke and a flash to work with as well. But as this push forces forward from complexity, Estatag needs to slow them down. 
Nato's across. That's an important and integral component. A bomb plant is the next step. Astralis, they're prepared for this retake, though. Look at the full util set. The boost gets already completely cancelled. The nade Eight. landing on Rush's toes. The sprinkling of bullets doesn't quite catch him just yet. Not yet. So it is time to see that utility. You see already S tag. Looking to see where he can put that nade to good use. Could be towards sandbags, could be on towards ramp. Smoke bound to go through from Glaive. Flash to soon follow. And the kit will be by S attack. So keep your eyes on him. He'll be the final man that needs to be working towards that bomb. Protect the president. Right there. Rush is right there. Rush? Oh my god, he's sticking it. And it, I, I, I don't know how the hell that just happened. So many bodies coming out from behind that smoke. I, I'm not sure if they didn't hear the diffuse. I feel like he must have. He's so close. Yeah, they're just kills so were happening all over. Do you think he, he was on burst fire, or do you think he got caught out and bursted and accidentally had to reload? I, I think with that close range, maybe going for burst because the spread of the three bullets. Yeah, maybe okay. thinking if I hit one of them, maybe Could he might get head. off. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Um, but those decisions in those moments are always very, <sighs> very difficult. But complexity now down 13 to three. Australians picking up. The CT side of Pista will be buying on through. These cams are cool. Is that Rush? Shout out, man. That's cool. That is MC doing the MC, magical cameras. You are good yes. at this. It is a strength of yours. You should do it more. He's very good. He is. I agree. Just make sure you get some rest eventually, MC, buddy. All right. I know it's early at home. Going to bed when the sun's up is never fun. Never so fun. respect to MC for not only doing a good job, but also destroying his entire sleeping pan for us. Boost. Great nade. Oh, it's a flash. I thought... Yeah, that would have been a groove. Bring out a HE there. He does find him, so it has actually paid off. Rare to see. Slave caught out in middle, but you can see the reaction. Look at the CT setup. They've got so many people actively floating between elevators and CT that there is a lot of space to be taken on oh. B. Oh, Dupree. Timing is everything on this now. Compi actually checked on it at the right time, but Dupree wins the fight. Makes it out alive with 15 HP and the information once again garnered. So they are going back towards A. They have to at this stage, knowing that Dupree was so far forward. They can't go back searching, wasting time looking for him. So over towards A, we will have that of Magus and Esetag. Decent utility. This is ready to smoke off the short position. Molotov's HE is available for the bomb as well. First smoke will go out. 35 seconds. There's contact. Esetag now notes it. Nade ready to be put to plant, which Rush will receive. Uh, it does a fair whack of damage, but they still stand. Now they don't. Rush goes down. Nato Safik's going to find at least device. Now let's look at where we stand. A 3v3 post plant, but the HP for the CTs is quite low. So that Deagle does actually find a little bit more validity in what it can do here. So just in case you're wondering what I'm doing on Virgo tonight, it's sitting here and throwing that smoke every round. Yeah. Cool little retake, makes me feel good. Has oh. landed perfectly. Blame, however, catching another. This looks set for success. And I'm talking about complexity to change my mind is Magis. And he hasn't got the kit. You're absolutely bang on. Time is not on their side. A recovered AK for poison. He wants to hunt and survive a two birds, one stone situation. Nado should live here. Poison. Nice. As well, holding on to that AK-47. Now, we have seen Astralis like to be quite forced by. And the fact that they've kept the Famous and the M4... They could really go for a force by here. Dupree could drop something. Magus could drop something as well, and they could invest. And I think that's exactly what they're going for. You can see Glaive's just been gifted that Famous. Dupree's brought on in there with the Deagle. Some utility behind it as well. Famous is... Uh, they're playing past the parcel. It's ended up with Device. So they haven't fully invested. Note how everybody has... Wow, I was going to say over 500 left. Esther Tag actually only with $300 redos. They'll get the $1,900 loss bonus in the next round. But this is still a potent buy for them to work with. <clears throat> so as we highlighted, Esther tag normally over towards this short position on their gun rounds, device with him, but this time around it will be Magus with one of the saved rifles. Magus will be one of the danger mans here. Mans? The danger mans. Danger mans. Oh, well, config more dangerous <laughs> and more of a mans. Absolutely. And unfortunately, only six kills to config. They need a couple more. Ooh. This is not ideal. S attacks just grabbing himself at M4. And Poison, fortunately, relieving some of that pressure. Catches Glaive on the rotate. Device announces his presence. A smoke being flirted with by S attack. Wants to isolate into at least one of these jewels. They're coming together, though. No subtleties that either. Definitely heard the steps, but loses life for it in the end. This is a fair amount of damage, but the site's now pretty much closed to business. Oh, really? Where? Nate oh no! As well. Oh, Nate is going to catch low. it. Oh, hold on. 
Oh. oh, no, Just this like that. This wasn't meant to be a problem. This wasn't meant to be a threat. Dupree's now pushed up with the Deagle, flash to hand as well. Up and over we go. Did he see Blame? I think he did. So they now know on the plant, on the shore. <laughs> Quick kill from Blame, though, and there you go. Shut down by the big man himself. That one got dicey there. And as you can see, just on the right-hand side of Blame there, the little blue highlighted diffuse kit was available for Astralis. So if they were able to, to get those last two frags, there was a chance they may have even had enough time to diffuse. But Blame bailing them out, and we said that he needed to be the player to watch on the side of things for complexity. With Oboe gone, a blunt object removed, somebody who has a lot of individual ability, good for the multi-frags. Now you're going to be looking at, uh, well, more work for the likes of Poison. Config and Blame. That'll be the star trio as Nado is the stand-in. So just down to these pistols. Oh, did you see that what they did there? They had three people walking in middle, then just reacting to the steps they heard off the spawn. Yeah, it's not a, a bad way to play it because Vertigo, as you can see by the layout, it's uh, two levels directly above one another. And with that extra sound cues, similar to how we have it on a map like Nuke, but when you spawn above and below one another, you can get a good idea at the start as to how the rounds are going to unfold. Poison takes down Magus, and I think this one's going to be quite the quick round here. Should be six on the board for Complexity as they continue to battle forward on this T side. Oh, I don't know if Rush just got spotted there. Oh, well, he's making so much noise. Did you get your packages from the lobby, Alex? Uh, there's only one. I got yeah. my G2 Esports Worlds jersey. Oh, nice. Admittedly a little late. Highest caster now. Oh, yes, that's true. I forgot about oh. that. <laughs> Don't bring that one back up. <laughs> Dinky do. And then, of course, with the AK, he gets him. Glaive put into a tight spot. So complexity, they needed that one. Blame, of course, getting equipped with... Is that guy got four cans of peanuts with a jar of peanut butter on top? I didn't see. That Maybe he really like likes peanuts. He's really overdone it on the peanuts. You won't be able to open that on an aeroplane, let me tell you. Yeah, goodness me, that's so That's a great intense. deal. Yeah. Right. By coming out, Ooh, we have yeah. the orb. We have an angle. I don't know. I just, for some reason, he, I feel like he's significantly safer now. He's Rush, just, I mean, all his protection. Is his head covered? Like, what, what is this actually covering his model? Oh, it is. You absolute rascal. That's filthy. Yeah, headshot now, I dare you. That's really filthy. Can we see it from his POV? Yep. So, okay. <laughs> that's so dirty. Vegas. <laughs> that is very, Ow. very cheeky. Now, do you want to reconsider very, very your, your player Honorable, models please. right now? He's because... like got his arms around the pole. It's like it's actually kind of feasible. He just can't see. <laughs> he's wrapped his arms around the pole and he's ready to go to dance, if you will. Love nice you work. Know. Device takes down Rush on the mid luck. And now Poison's going to walk into the impossible headshot angle. Yeah, I hope this comes into fruition. I just want to see how dirty you it is. Watch Poison's POV if he sweeps in. Why well, actually? Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, it's too many targets to work with. Stay away, device. Oh, oh, he tags oh, him. Tag and nothing more. Bloody hell! I don't love to see it. It's a little weird. Uh, but blame F looking for a couple of pixels in the smoke. Not going to find anything. But I think they've noted each other. Are there now? Blame. Oh. Just put down in the end is config now left in a 1v5. He's blind. Oh and he's dead. Yeah, config's had a bit of a rough game so far in terms of the opening duel statistics. I think coming out of the first half, he was sitting at 1 and 4. He's had a couple on this T side where he's found the opening kills. It was uh, to do with the earlier rounds in this half. So he's now sitting at 3 and 5. Now things are, yeah, in a rough spot for complexity. Once again, there's no disrespect to this team whatsoever. Just coming in hamstrung last minute, yep. losing one of your star individuals, having to try and retool and make things work within the space of a week against an Astralis who, well, during the group stage of ESL Pro League, were doing phenomenal. The only team that they lost to throughout that run was Complexity. And, uh, well, Astralis had Bubsky playing instead of Asatag, and Complexity had Oba playing instead of NATO. So now we've kind of shifted things around. Yeah. It's a modern day Counter Strike. At least when Astralis are involved. Now, the angle held by device, very common. And it's a duel that I'm sure Config is equipped to take, but it's a question of time. One minute 20, plenty of it. The only thing that's at the moment making its presence known is that Desert Eagle. They look to flash and peek. And just not getting anything, but Config certainly gobbling up that white screen. Retooling though, four members gathered towards this round position. Okay, config now noted. 
They have plenty of utility on the T side. They can set this in motion and they should be able to take the site. Not necessarily unscathed because oh. Magus is going to push forward. He's going to commit to this and that's now the bomb. Slows down, hindered, swings back to check site. It's already overwhelmed. Yeah, but the bomb was exactly as you outlined, stuck. So timing could become a bit of a factor here. If they throw these incendiaries towards the plant spot now, Nato's holding it. He's going to just about get away with his life. Drops his own smoke and bullets. Everything brings him down to five. Oh, dear. The smoke's going to give them something to work with, though, Alex. The Strauss don't even need to drop their own right now. They have done. Is that sandbags, Molly? Yeah, it is. He's just working out for himself. Bingo, bango. Not ideal. No one home. Nito okay. tore through the smoke. Oh, no. Doubled up on short. Clean. Needs another catch shot. It's Dupree that finds it. Two on one. And he finds it, looking for the fourth. Config could save him. He's got enough time for the defuse. How's the kit and device? Will save the day for Astralis. A solid attempt. Have to give credit to Config for finding the shots necessary. But that is the 15th. And this looks like complexity's map pick is starting to dissolve. You can see that an extra man over towards that A side of things for Astralis. Normally, they're playing it uh, with only two S attack and device babysitting. But Magus over towards middle. They completely gave that up. And he's played the short position, which was huge on slowing down this attack. It meant that the eyes of Device and s -Attack could be posted more towards the ramp as they flutter up past the crane. Magus using his utility late to stall them on out. And as that attack got slowed, you get to now isolate two separate fights. It's not a pincer you're worrying about anymore. It's just the jewels in front of you. And Astralis now, they're only one round away. Device was good for this before, but now going to be pressured a little quicker. Able to back away. No one able to pounce on that quickly enough rush. Slowed for a second, Dupree this time on it. Molly comes in, forced away. Deeper angles now. They're, they're getting mid control. It's just what do they do with it? Oh, it was so fast and they just run through the Molly. Dupree, he can't believe his luck. He collects three. Remaining two on towards the B site, but he can do it all. Let's get the ace. Let's finish on a bang. Let's finish loud. Already forced forward by the incendiary. Config tucked in on the gens. Dupree does find his fourth. One more for the ace to finish it all. Nato. The super sub has found himself one, but hey. Dupree completes it. The ace, it's not on the sleeve, it's in the server. And 16 to 6, the final score of our first map today.